Hey guys, what's up? I am back with my first fitness video. Let's get into it. I've been putting off recording this for so long. So since this is my first one, I'm not 100% sure what the format of these videos is going to be specifically. So we'll kind of figure it out. We'll wing it along the way. But anyway, this is a little bit of what I did this week. Meal replacement, day one. We'll see. This is why I love the YMCA. Why did no one tell me Lord of the Rings is on Netflix? How am I supposed to go to the gym now? Like I said in my last video, the journey for these videos is going to be to help me lose weight. I need a little bit of accountability. I think YouTube will help me get there because I'm not good at keeping myself accountable. I give myself too many excuses. I allow myself to make too many mistakes. And then the next thing you know it, I've just fallen off the train. So I think what we'll be doing is once a week on Thursdays, I will be updating you guys on what I did during the week. We'll check in with the scale. I know, it, it, the scale's hard for some people. If you're following along with me and you're on your own journey, please don't feel like you have to do things the way that I'm doing them. I just want to relate my experiences and see what works for me and hopefully get some inspiration from you guys and maybe inspire you as well. So today I want to talk just a little bit about what I've done during the last week to really try to kickstart my journey to being healthier. The big thing that I'm doing is I've started a meal replacement plan. So the idea behind meal replacement is basically you have your certain set of calories that your body needs per day, sort of that that typical 2000 calorie diet. But what you actually need is based on a lot of different factors. The common factors that it's based on is your weight, your height, and your anatomy. So for example, the male body burns more calories, supposedly, than the female body. And a man who's six foot two, 300 pounds, is going to need more calories to sustain him throughout the day than a man who is 5'7 and weighs 160 pounds. So you take your set number of calories that you're allowed for the day, and ultimately the goal of meal replacement is to come under that. For one or two meals a day, right now I'm doing one, you take these shakes and instead of eating the meal, you drink the shake. And the shake includes nutritional things, but the important thing that it includes is a hunger blocker. And this hunger blocker keeps you feeling full for about three hours. So for those one or two meals a day, you get fewer calories than you used to be, but you still feel as full and you come in under the amount that you need for the day. Now I'm about a week into using these meal replacement shakes and I have to say I'm happy with how it's going. The shakes that I'm using right now are from a company called Ideal Shape. Not sponsored. Here is the Ideal Shape meal replacement mix. And to be honest, they taste pretty good. And with these shakes, you mix it with eight ounces of liquid, usually uh, your favorite kind of milk. We've been using almond milk. And it's not a ton of liquid either, so I don't feel like I'm having to gulp down more than I want to drink. We've allowed ourselves a day on Sunday when we don't have to count calories just to get a bit of a mental relief from a week long of counting calories. This past Sunday, that really helped. On Monday, I felt really motivated to jump back into it, get back on the shakes, and it felt good to be starting on Monday again instead of like another chore that I had to do. In addition to the meal replacement, I am exercising. Let's go check in with the scale. You guys like my sick Tom's tan? This is what happens to your feet when you live in San Diego. So that's where I'm at right now, just under 225 pounds. My goal is to get down to 175. So I wanna lose 50 pounds over the next year. So it'll be hard work. You know, eating healthy isn't always the easiest thing to do. Getting to the gym as many times as you want to isn't always the easiest thing to do. Like I said earlier, I hope that these videos can provide some motivation, maybe some inspiration. I wanna share my struggles with you guys, and I wanna to listen to your struggles, and we can help each other. I want us to celebrate when we make healthy choices, and I want us to celebrate when we hit goals, and we hit milestones. So please don't be a stranger when it comes to the things that you're doing to try to help yourselves. I would love to hear from all of you if you have any tips, about how to exercise for weight loss, if you have any recipes that you really love that are super healthy. So this is the start of my journey. I wanna lose 50 pounds in a year, and right now we're trying meal replacement. I'm trying to get to the gym four times a week. If you guys have any questions for me, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, and remember that every Tuesday we're discussing the Harry Potter books, and that this coming Tuesday we'll be discussing chapters one and two of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And as always, please remember that these fitness videos are in no way intended to be advice to you guys. I just want to relate my story. I'm not a professional fitness guru. I just know what I'm trying and we'll see what works for us. I'll see you next time.